Hey y'all, I'm Tim, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today, we're bringing you some fun flowering content. We had some customers say, hey, you need to be carrying some peonies. We've been listening, we like them. This is one of our favorite peonies. This is Peony Circus Circus. Now, we're gonna be listing a lot of different plants through our Fun Flower Fridays. If you're interested in this Fun Flower content, make sure you sign up on our weekly emails. We add 10 new Fun Flowering items every Friday at 10 a.m. We do maples every Tuesday at 10 a.m. So you'll make sure you sign up for our weekly emails so you can find out about all the cool plants coming through the channel at Mr. Maple. Now, Peonia uh, is such a cool plant. These peonies, this is Circus Circus. We love this plant. This is probably one of our favorite peonies that we've encountered yet. It has such a cool bloom. It's a double bloom with sort of twisted petals. But what makes this thing really special is the variegated bloom. I mean, we get some raspberry colors with some whites striping all across these blooms. The eye, the center here is yellow with the very, very center being red. The color contrasts are just crazy and something we've really been enjoying. My wife is taking one of these to our house. She said, you better bring me a circus circus. So this is such a cool plant. We had a bunch of these at our open house, the Mr. Maple Festival, and they were all gone. So we said, holy moly, let's really try some more of these out and see how they do through our mail order side. But this is such a cool plant. So if you really like peonies, make sure to post them in the comments because we may start carrying more peonies here at mrmaple.com. Now, Circus Circus is one of the types that dies back to the ground every winter. So it's not a tree peony, it's one of the more herbaceous peonies. And this is a plant that'll end up getting about three feet in height by about three feet in width in 10 years. Makes such a cool plant. Now, they're very, very popular because these blooms are so amazing, but these blooms also make excellent cut flowers. Because when you cut the flower, these flowers can last seven to 10 days, even as a cut flower. So that makes an awesome plant for a cut flower, but out there in your garden to have this raspberry white striped double blooming peony with twisted petals something really special something really unique did i mention they're fragrant so i mean such a cool plant make sure you give this part sun to full sun uh in hotter climates you may give it a little protection from the hot afternoon sun but circus circus is such a cool plant and if you like variegated plants this is a plant you gotta have because this variegated bloom is just outstanding hey i'm matt and we're excited to talk to you about peonies today, specifically the Circus Circus. Peonies are one of my aunt and my grandmother's favorite plants, and for good reason. Now, these are a very cold tolerant plant, which is something that's often not talked about with peonies. These actually work zones three through eight. I've even seen some people growing them in zone nine, although you may be pushing it for humidity in zone nine. A very cold tolerant plant though. Now, peonies have a lot of great uses in the landscape, but one of the most popular is for cut flowers. Now, an easy way to get these at the per perfect time is right when that uh, flower is more in that ball shape before it actually starts to leaf out. So you want to catch it. Uh, I actually watched a video and you know, P. Allen Smith says when it's in the marshmallow stage, that's what he calls it. It kind of looks like a marshmallow. That bloom has started to come out. It's in a nice round ball. It hadn't quite hit the fruition there. That's the stage when you want to cut these. You can bring them in. You're going to get the most out of your flower that way. So it's going to be in that vase the longest and just have the best overall color. Now, do keep in mind that peonies are, are herbaceous plants. So these will die back down to the ground. Um, lovely plant for that kind of growth. Now, a lot of people talk about peonies being popular for ants, and they are. When they're at that stage and they're starting to unfurl, there's actually a slight sweet uh, juice that's emitted from the bloom, and they love to crawl over that bloom, but they're not hiding deep down in this plant. So don't be afraid to bring them inside. Simply, when you cut it, Give it a good shake, dip it in some water, and that plant's ready to go into a vase. Now, Circus Circus with that white and raspberry style variegation on the bloom is an eye catcher. I brought my wife down here and drove her by these last night, actually, and she was like, wow, I need one of those. It's an awesome plant. If, you, if you're somebody who likes to buy flowers for your significant other, you're gonna love this one because they're gonna get cut flowers all year and an easy way to get them into the vase. Uh, lovely variegation on this one, though. That raspberry on white or raspberry on cream is one of the most striking variegated peonies. Uh, it's definitely one that's going to catch the eye and show out in your garden or landscape. Now these can actually handle a good bit of sun up to that zone eight. Uh, sun will actually give you better blooming. If you're in heavy, heavy shade, you're going to be a little bit subdued on the blooming. I recommend at least four to five hours of sun a day on these for their best flowering habit. 
Now, thanks for watching this video on Peony Circus Circus. Make sure to like, subscribe, and sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.